Describing places. Describing places using simple sentences. How to describe a place when the facts are given? When describing a place, first you need to decide whether you are writing a paragraph or an essay with few paragraphs. Either you are writing a paragraph or an essay, you need to read the facts given very carefully. The facts needed to be set according to a proper order. If it is an essay, you should include an introduction, the history and the special features of a place in an organized manner. Hence, you can organize your facts based on the above point. You need to apply proper tense when writing sentences. Sentences need to be clear and simple. Can you identify the place in this picture? This is the ancestral home of Mr. Martin Vikramasinghe. Let's describe the place in the picture. Read the facts given carefully. Introduction Gol Mathara Main Road in Kokkala belongs to Southern Province, the ancestral home of the renowned Sri Lankan writer poet Mr. Martin Vikramasinghe, converted into museum complex displaying artifacts, photographs, awards, souvenirs of the great writer. When writing the introductory paragraph, begin introducing the place. Mention where it is located and its importance. Add suitable subject and tense to form meaningful sentences. For certain sentences, you can use passive form. Example, Martin Vikramasinghe Folk Museum is located Gol Mathara Main Road in Koggala. Then you can use simple present tense for the other sentences. Example, it belongs to the southern province. Read the facts carefully to write the second paragraph. Explain the history of the place briefly. Established as a folk museum complex by the Martin Vikramasinghe Trust. Taken over by the Royal Air Force during World War II in the past. Made the residence during the military occupation of the area by a female Air Force officer. To begin the second paragraph, based on the facts given, you may use passive form of simple past tense. Example, Mr. Martin Vikramasinghe's house was established as a folk museum complex by the Martin Vikramasinghe Trust. The whole paragraph is written in simple past tense of passive form. Now read the facts given carefully to write the third paragraph. Explain briefly the special features of this place. An old traditional rice storage hut made of mud and wattle and raised on slits to avoid pests. Can see different sections which indicate folk culture of the country. Separated sections for masks, clothes, kitchenware, rickshaws, equipment used by blacksmith, jeweller, fisherman, etc. Sell books written by Mr. Martin Vikramasinghe in both languages. Seven acre plot of land with the carefully restored ecosystem of hundreds of indigenous trees and shrubs. To write about the special features of the place, you can use simple present tense to form the sentences. The grammatical structure, there is or there are, is more suitable for this. Example, there are many special features in this museum. Finally, 
end the paragraph with a suitable sentence too. Here is the final production of our essay. Martin Vikramasinghe Folk Museum Martin Vikramasinghe Folk Museum is located Gol Mathara Main Road in Kogala. It belongs to the southern province. It is the ancestral home of the renowned Sri Lankan writer, poet, Mr. Martin Vikramasinghe. The house was converted into a museum complex displaying artifacts, photographs, awards, souvenirs of this great writer. Martin Vikramasinghe's house was established as a folk museum complex by the Martin Vikramasinghe Trust. The house was taken over by the Royal Air Force during World War II in the past. It was made the residence during the military occupation of the area by a female Air Force officer. There are many special features in this museum. There is an old traditional rice storage hut made of mud and wattle and raised on stilts to avoid pests. It is a seven acre plot of land with a carefully restored ecosystem of hundreds of indigenous trees and shrubs. We can see different sections which indicate folk culture of the country. There are many separated sections for masks, clothes, kitchenware, rickshaws, equipment used by blacksmith, jeweler, fisherman, etc. They sell both Sinhal and English books written by Martin Vikramasinghe. Martin Vikramasinghe Folk Museum is a place that you must visit to learn about folk culture in Sri Lanka. In this video, you learned how to describe a place using the given facts. Try to write descriptions of places. Don't forget to subscribe the YouTube channel Academic Mind. Enjoy learning with us. Have a good day.